I'm telling you, and you answer. Because if you don't, I will kill you. And if you lie, I'll kill you. Have you got that? Now, is the chief escort coming here tonight? Yeah, yeah. He's carrying some jewels. He's guarding the gems known as the Shining Pearls. Talk. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, hmm? oh, oh, yeah, yeah, all I know, all I know, believe me, it's Chief Escort Tang is meant to be bringing the Shining Pearls here. Brother, there's someone coming. Right, get ready. Alpho! <laughs> Alpho! No point waking him. We've all had a long, hard journey. We better get some rest now. Because tomorrow, we have to be up early and continue on our way. Our fool must be sleeping there. But he knew we were coming here tonight. He cut a little lamp for us, stupid fool. Star Tiger. Chief Escort Tang. The five shining pearls. You gonna hand them over? Or am I gonna take them? Star Tiger, you won't get them. Shining Pearl. in the coffin, lady. Ah, mine. Why not? You belong to the Black Gang, don't you? And you killed the Royal Escort. And you stole the jewelry, the Five Shining Pearls. And that 
is a capital offense. Therefore, you have to die. Who the hell are you? My name is Tong Lam. The chief escort you killed. He was my uncle. I've bought several coffins, so I'll be ready for all of you when you die. <laughs> 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 Where are your bosses? I know nothing. Hmm. No use being brave. You were going to talk to me in the end. I can be patient if I want. If you want to die, that's your affair. Uh, oh. ah. uh, I'll talk, I'll talk. Uh, I'll talk. Uh, I'll talk. Uh, I'll talk, I'll talk. Uh, I'll talk, I'll talk. Uh, I am most pleased to hear it. Talk! When our gang was disbanded, we arranged a contact place, the Moon Restaurant in, in Star Town. Then where are the four bosses of the gang? And the Shining Pearls, where are they? I, I don't know. You really don't know? All right, no we don't. You know what happens to anybody who tries to resist us? Hmm. I know. You will die. of Taeyong Town, Chi Yong Hing. Who the hell are you? How dare you come here and fight against us? So you're working for the Prince? Chief Bodyguard, Hong Yi! I don't know. In... In Star Town. For the poor, give me some money, give me money. What play to pay for the bottle of wine? Winter. Yes, sir, I'm coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this way, right. please, please. In a car, all right, over there. Oh, I'll take your horse. Sir. Uh, hello, Mrs. Please come in. Oh, oh. I'm not his wife. Uh, oh, oh. I don't know him at all. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, please. 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 Uh, please. Uh, 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 gentlemen, uh, what do you want to wait? Uh, uh, a cup of tea and a plate of beef. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't realize you were a mute. Uh, your food will be ready in just a minute. You are not a mute. You don't like to talk. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize. So you're really a talking mute. <laughs> 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 
no, 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 no. Uh, what I meant to say is, you're a mute because you don't like to talk. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, what I mean, mister, you can talk. Uh, you are not a mute. Huh? Uh, uh, please, please. Oh. Didn't I just tell you? I'm not his wife. Uh, oh, uh, lady, I'm sorry. What kind of food do you like? What he ordered? Bring me the same. Oh, uh, two cups of tea, uh, two plates of beef. Uh, it won't take a moment. <laughs> My God, I'm going mad. Looking for trouble. Two plates of beef! Uh, come in, gentlemen. This way, please. Uh, uh, please. <laughs> Uh, this way. Uh, please, sit down here. Uh, now, what would you like to order, sir? I'm not eating. Uh, how about some wine? I'm not drinking. Huh? Uh, you don't eat, you don't drink? Then why have you come to a restaurant? Huh? Uh, 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 hey, mister, are uh, you pulling my leg? <laughs> I'm looking for someone. Uh, someone? Who are you looking for? I'm looking for your boss, Madame Hua. I am here. Huh? Mister, are you looking for me? Hmm, you're gentle and good looking. Madame Hua, you need a prettier name like Madame Butterfly, huh? Mm. Well, mister, you are a flatterer, and you're intelligent, too. And you're handsome, and you look strong. You're a well-made figure of a man. <laughs> Since you're a pretty woman, and I'm a handsome man, why not? Let's get together. Let's go to bed. What are you suggesting? This place is a restaurant. Is that a brothel? If you want a girl, you can go and find a brothel. Oh, but I've come here and I want to sleep with you. I don't want to go somewhere else. Hmm. You bastard! You're gonna get killed! Madame Hua! I told you, I came here to sleep with you. I didn't come for a fight. Oh. Bastard! You're not only getting a fight, you're gonna die as well. Pudge him, Fang. For a guy with such a big mouth, you're not gonna live long. How do you know I'm called Pachin Fang? I also know that gang uses this place as a base, and Madame Hua is your woman. This restaurant is merely a front for your organization. Pachin Fang, answer me, aren't I right? For somebody who knows so much, you're not going to live too long. Thing. My name is Ti Yong Hing. Huh? The Sheriff of Tai Tong. Ti Yong Hing. That's right. Hmm. If my guess is correct, this man is the famous bodyguard who never talks. The prince's right hand man, Hung Yi. <laughs> Hey, 
And who are you? Pa Chin Fang. So many people have come to take you to jail. I'm Tong Lam. I've come to give a hand. Huh? So you are the famous heroine, Tong Lam. That's right. But if I hadn't dressed as a man to give Madame Hua trouble, you probably wouldn't have shown yourself. Pa Chin Fang, if you're smart, you will give yourself up. If you'll talk to us, give us information on where the four bosses are hiding, huh? I will spare your life this time. Pa Chin Fang, I haven't met your bosses yet. But I assure you that I will do soon. They'll never escape from me. <laughs> pa Chin Fang, I have never failed on a mission yet either. Pajin Feng, if you want to stay here with your woman, Madame Hua, you better come clean and tell us where your bosses are now. You will tell us the truth. Are you going to or not? All right, I'll talk. All I know is that the fourth master is staying at the old Chan temple right now. What about the other three? Do you know where they're hiding now? No, I really don't. disband our gang right now. We were doing so well. Now all we got left is small stuff. Hey, you forget that when we pulled off that last job with the Shining Pearls, we had to wipe out the escort. The prince's best man, the prince has sworn to hunt all of us down. So we thought it best to lay low for a while. But we're too powerful. Nobody scares us. Not even the prince can handle us. Fort master! Huh? Fourth master, you sure we gotta move out? Some people are coming. <laughs> There's nothing stopping us from working on a small job. Okay, get ready. We have business to attend to. Yes, boss. Hey, brothers! Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have ourselves some fun today. Yeah, you bet. That's yeah. a real. Yeah, of course it is. Come on. <laughs> we better go get ready. Well, look yeah. here. She's good looking. Let's see what she wants. Yeah. <laughs> Lady, what do you want? A dead man. Huh? A dead man? We don't have any dead man here. Yeah. You will. If you don't tell your fourth master to come out, all of you will be dead men. Uh, God damn you, I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, you're good. You got guts. Of course. I've got guts. That's my character. <laughs> Are you Zhu Ma Kung? <laughs> yeah, I'm Zhu Ma Kung. Lady, what's your name? My name is Ti Yung Ying. Oh. <laughs> the sheriff of Taitung, Ti Yung Ying. Zhu Ma Kung, are you going to give yourself up to me? Or do I have to take you? Ti Young Hing, there's no way I'm going with you. You better not make a move. <laughs> or else, you're dead. Yeah! 
for a beggar. Right, right. Lady, please give me money. Right. Oh, thank you. Thank you, lady. Oh. Huh? This is a silver piece. Oh, that's a very generous lady. She must be extremely rich. Right. I'll follow her. Maybe she'll give to me again, and then I'll be rich. Oh, lady. Tell me, where's your boss? Yeah, he's inside, over there. Uh. Anyone here? Anyone here? Mm, strange. Where is he? <coughs> Wait, oh. Oh. Want a coffin? Oh. What's wrong with you? Why are you sleeping in a coffin? Ah, uh, lady. It's a funny business, this. Firstly, we can't sell door to door. Second, we can't grab customers off the street. Thirdly, it seems that everybody in this town is very strong and in good health. We've been only selling one or two a year. It's been tough. So I've taken a sleep in my coffin because it saves on rent and keeps down my overheads. <laughs> then you are a model businessman. You don't waste a single cent. <laughs> Lady, to succeed in business, you must watch every cent. Now, my name is John Chi. What kind of coffin do you require? We've all kinds on offer here. The cheapest one is $10. The dearest is 100 If you buy a big one, you'll get a small one free. Oh. Uh, no, sorry, I was joking. Oh, I uh. want the best you got. Ah? Oh. Here, take it. The money. Oh. You may keep the change. Uh. I just hope that it'll fit on my wagon okay. I'll come back here later. Ah, uh, thank you, lady. Ah, it looks like my luck has changed. Just for one coffin. Things are looking up. If you have any money, I'm sure that's will interest you. My concoctions cure all diseases, I guarantee. How could I have been so stupid? That's easy. Because the road's a dead end. Hmm. But you got here so quickly. That's right, we did. It may be a dead end, but there's a shortcut. We know that you deliberately tried to deceive us. Even so, you still couldn't manage to arrest Zuma Kung now, could you? Hmm. Toglan, don't worry, I will. Zuma Kung will never be able to get away from me. <laughs> the point is, do you get him first, or do I get him first? Or maybe our silent friend here has designs of his own to get him first. The one of us who is best will get him first. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I think that it might not be the best fighter who gets him, but the one who's the smartest who gets him. Fourth master, Chi Young Hing couldn't handle us, so she left. There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Don't be so stupid, you idiot. She hasn't been to Sheriff of Tai Tung for nothing. She's not easy to deal with. Also, because we stole these shining pearls, we're all marked men. Everybody's looking for it. We better be extra careful. Right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're the chief bodyguard of the prince. <laughs> That's fine. The lady sheriff has seen me and she's gone. And now I'm visited by the bodyguard. <laughs> you won't succeed. You can't escape. You'll die. <laughs> Fourth master, 
Let us handle him for you. Uh. Huh? Ah! Don't try anything, because you ain't going to get out of here. Hongyi, Zuma Kung is my responsibility. Stay out of it. He is mine. Taking Zuma Kung. I want to settle with them, and I want nobody to interfere. Goodbye. Kong Lam, you bastard, you. <laughs> Zuma Kong, there's an old proverb. If you lose, accept it. Now, if you're smart, you'll tell me about the others. Where are they now? Also, the Shining Pearls, where are they now? Listen, I've been around a long time. You don't frighten me. There's no way I'm gonna talk. You're dreaming. <laughs> I know that you're a brave man. But you're also a fool. If you try using your brains, then maybe I'll let you live. <laughs> Kongla, you're worse than an animal. I'll get even with you. Said that I was honorable. Anyhow, I'm not really a man. I'm a woman. Uh, haven't you heard people say a woman's the most dangerous animal? Believe me, I can be very cruel if I want to. If you don't tell me the truth, I will let you die bit by bit. <laughs> Where are they? You gonna talk? Yes, I'll talk. I'll talk. Right. Now you're not so foolish. Come on. I'm listening. Uh, 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 on condition. Huh? Condition? Yeah. Mm. A quick death? 
Or a slow one. Oh, oh, wait, you can't do this to me. Huh? You won't tell me? Okay, if that's what you want. All right. Are you ready to die? Uh, I'll talk. Second Master Murphy is staying at Tin Ho Valley. Third Master Ting Pao is staying in Yin Xiang Village. And our Chief Star Tiger, he wanders about the place. I've no idea where he could be. And where are the Shining Pearls? Uh, unless you guarantee that I'll live, I won't tell you that. Huh, so you still refuse. Later, you will tell me everything. Wow! <laughs> Tung Lam! Hold it! Tung Lam, you are bloodthirsty, a cruel woman. Now I see. You two have teamed up together. Tell me which one made the first move, or are you both attracted? Huh? Tong Lam, I am sure you're aware of my reputation. Don't you realize, if you cross me, you will regret it? I'm aware your enemies don't have an easy time when you catch them. But you should understand as well that no one crosses me and gets away with it either. Hmm. I know you think you are tough. But you're not as tough as you think you are. So you want to find out who's toughest? That's right. Fine. Will you go first, or will he help you? friend is playing games. Hmm. Who changed the road sign then? What kind of game was that? Hmm. Tong Lam, you may have got the first one, but I'm telling you, so listen. The other three bosses are mine, so don't interfere. That's odd. How is it killed when we were here? useless, no matter how strong he is. He won't be any match for our armed men. <laughs> That's right. Now we have these two armed men. I don't have to worry at all. Huh. Third Master! Huh? Third Master! Third Master! Fourth Master's been killed! And who killed him? I heard he was killed by Tong Lam and the Sheriff of Taitung, T. Yung Hing. Also, there's one other, the Prince's Chief Bodyguard. Uh, Hong Yi, they teamed up together. Oh, they'll come here. They'll come here. Huh. Third Master, what do you mean they'll come here? What is the reason for disbanding the gang? It was to throw the lawman off our trail, wasn't it? Bang Tai Fu, if you were in my shoes, what would you do? I wouldn't stay here waiting for him. That's right. We shouldn't stay here waiting to be killed. 
Done something? Why don't you talk? <laughs> oh, I see you're not up. You don't like talking. Oh, really? You just don't like talking to people. Oh, you mean that? You don't like talking? You're not a mood. wasted your time. You realize that you won't leave here alive. trust you either. Too bad. That wasn't smart. You tricked me. You had it coming. I know that you killed Zhu Malkung. You're a fool. You should have understood. Once Zhu Malkung died, Ting Pao would be extra careful. Hold it. Did you force Zhu Malkung to talk? Did he tell you where the five shining pearls are? He did. And that's why you killed him. You won't leave here till you tell me. Mister, is your plate of fried beef? Yeah. Huh? like not getting my own way. You better tell me now everything you know. Why did you kill Zuma Kung? <laughs> you don't admit that you did kill Zuma Kung. <laughs> you were denying it. Kong Lam and I had no opportunity to kill him. Only you. No one else could. I know very well the prince ordered you to come here and get back the five shining pearls. Also the gangster bosses who murdered the escort. But they are my responsibility. I'll take them. You must not interfere with the law. 
Uh, Mr. Uh. I will get all of them. No crook escapes from me. Uh, Mr. Hung, I see you're enjoying yourself. That's admirable. You sure bricked a pretty lady, friend. Uh, 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 Goddamn slut! Why did that kill? Hmm. That is to teach you not to talk to me dirty. Hey, ah, ah, hey. Oh. you that from now on, you'll be polite. <laughs> and this is to teach you to pay respect to a woman. you. Ting Pao is mine. And no one's going to stop me. So you two really are in love. I thought you had a tiff, but you're together again. Tong Lam, you had better not push me too far. Don't make me mad or you'll get more than you bargained for. All right, let's drop the subject. Hey, Hong Yi, can you tell me this? Why'd you have to kill Zhu Ma Kung? He said he didn't kill Zhu Ma Kung. But you were the only other person there. It's odd. If you didn't, then who did? Ah, uh, Miss Tong! Ah, <laughs> uh, Miss Tong, I finally caught up with you. Mm -hmm. I've been... Looking for you everywhere. What do you want with me? Uh, uh, Miss Tong, I know that uh, you're not a normal person. If I follow you, I have no trouble selling my coffins. Uh, uh, Mister, uh, lady, now please listen to me. All my coffins are made out of the finest material. Anytime you want, one will be ready. Uh, 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 lady, now tell me, when do you next want one? Or you can send along a message and I will deliver it wherever you say. I must say, you certainly do take your business seriously. Uh, Miss Tong, when it comes to money, I have to be most serious. <laughs> Spare coin for a beggar? Uh, Mr. Spare coin? <laughs> oh, Miss! Oh, fantastic. Now I have to give another silver piece. Tong Lam, you sure do have some peculiar friends. First, a guy who sells coffins, and now a beggar who never gives up. Have you got any other oddballs hanging around? Huh? Yes, one. The trouble is he doesn't like talking. Oh, uh, hey, miss. Uh, hey, miss. Uh, spare a coin for a beggar. Uh, hey, miss. How are you? Oh, I'm not well. Oh, hey. Hey, miss. Uh, you're so wealthy. How come you're not well? Oh, because I keep bumping into you. That's why I don't feel well. Oh? Mm. <laughs> Here, take it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, miss. Thank you, miss. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, miss. <laughs> oh. 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 Miss Tom, you've got so many coffins. Oh. I'll give you a special dessert. I'm having good luck today. I've got silver, and now I've got some iron. <laughs> this umbrella's a really useful magnet. Mister. Oh. Mister, what do you want to use that for? Why 
imagine such a big magnet. <laughs> oh. That's strange. How come the three of them have come together? Good master, we're so many, and we the are men too. We've nothing to be afraid of. You think these three have earned their reputations because they're no good? If they were so stupid, then how come they could take forth Master and kill him? Then what shall we do? They are good fighters. But I'm not a fool. They won't get me. Tapu. Yes, sir. We will wait for them to fall into our trap. <laughs> Kung Fu is pretty good, but it's not good enough. You will never get out of here. Hi! The master, this is Tonga. Hmm. Ting Pao, you're not gonna get out of here, you see? Tong Lam, you are crazy. <laughs> if I'm crazy, how come I'm a good fighter? <laughs> That's right. You are a good fighter. But I am not such a fool as you might think. You underestimate me. <laughs> I don't underestimate you. You overestimate yourself. You're too cocky. There's no way you're going to win. You two, please.
I told you to leave him to me. How dare you? Shout so loud. Now tell me the truth, or I will make you suffer. To Young Hing, even if you should kill me, I'll never tell you anything. You'll never find out where the shining pearls are hidden. Uh, uh. Hmm. Killing can be such a messy job. Uh. I don't really like killing. I prefer to use torture. First of all, I will thrash you. And uh, then, I'll burn you all over. Uh-huh. You will scream for release. Uh, you... Shh. All right. I won't really burn you to death. But nearly to death. You will want to die. And then, I'll take you back to jail. Cruel bitch! Cruel? <laughs> you had better believe it. And after I've got you in jail, then you will be tried in court. And you will be sentenced to be hanged. It is a slow death. Listen. You should start begging me to put you out of your misery now. Because it will hurt more than the flames of hell. Hey, you, you, you're the cruelest woman in the world. Whatever you say, I'm only sorry I have to stick around. Ah, 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 to hear you, are you going to talk? Uh, uh, I won't. Oh, you won't. Uh, then I'll have to start again. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, so what? Not till you talk. Uh, uh, I'll talk. Ah, now you're being smart. Don't you know that smart people live longer? Come on, I'm listening. Those five shining pearls were divided among the four of us. Our chief took two of them, and the rest of us took one pearl each. Oh. Oh. Then where is your pearl? Now give it to me. I won't give it to you, unless you release me. Hmm. Your lot are all the same. None of you can be trusted for a moment. Try another one. I'm not gonna release you. I don't want to do this, but I have to. I'm going to start burning you. Hmm. Hold it. You burn him, but you must not kill him. Ti Young Hing, you're more cruel than I am, and that takes some doing, I'll tell you. Dandy, so you two have teamed up together now. Tell me, who was the one to make the first pass? Or were you both attracted? Hmm? <laughs> You're learning fast. You'll do well yet, though it's going to take a long time. Hmm. Don't flatter me. It's called fighting fire with fire. Last time, we were the ones who helped you kill Zuma Kung. This time, you have helped me capture Ting Pao. That's fair, isn't it? I think we can call it quits now. <laughs> Hungi doesn't like to talk about it. He hasn't had his turn yet. Hey, miss! Hey, miss! Doesn't that sound like the old beggar? Hey, miss! 
Uh, hey, miss. Hello. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> Money makes a man's ears extra sharp. Tongue man, you know what this fellow is like. You're never going to be able to get rid of him now. Here. This is all I have. Now take it. Oh. And don't you ever follow me again. Uh, thank you. Thank you, lady. You've given me so much money, I won't ever need to follow you again. Mm. <laughs> money may make a man's ears sharp and attentive, but it also makes him an obedient servant. I have so much money now, I can open up a little cafe. However, if I only had a little more money, I would be able to open up a big restaurant. Hey, that's right. To be the boss of a big restaurant is better, much better than owning a small bar. So I need more. Hey, I must follow her. Right. I must keep on following her. Because <gasps> if I don't follow her, I'll never be the boss of a big restaurant. Hey, hey, I told you that's it no more. <laughs> Lady, I beg you, spare a coin for me. Ah, oh. Tong Lam, you have got to help. You started it all. You can't let him down now. If he wants a restaurant, give it to him. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, wait. Oh. Oh. It's Tong. Hey, lady, wait, let's talk this over now. Hey, lady, wait, let's have a little word about this. Uh, he's dead. something? The murderer seemed to be interested in his shoes. Do you mean that he kept the pearl hidden in his shoe? Can you think of a better idea? It's strange. Who could have killed him? Christine! Where have you got to? How many coffins to sell? Uh, we're here. <laughs> ah, Miss Dong, I finally caught up with you. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Miss Tong, I know that I'm on the right track. If I follow you, my business will be booming. Uh, now, look here. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you when I need you. Not till then. Got it? Uh, of course. Uh, of course. Tong, ma'am, you won't need another coffin, because Malfei belongs to me. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Ti Yung Hing, I want to tell you I won't say it again. Malfei and Star Tiger, are my concern. Leave them be. Uh, hey, hey, Miss Tom! Hey, please wait for me! Hey, don't you need any more coffins? Hey, hey, Miss Tom! Oh, please wait for me! You must help me up for the parishioner! Miss Tom! Are you certain the Tong Lam killed both Third Master and... They're the next ones. Jin Wu, if you were in their shoes, how'd you try to kill me? Master, I'd have to come to Ting Lung Valley. Hmm. That's right. If they want to come here, there's only one way to do it. Which way, sir? I like collecting rare birds. Huh. They will use a bird to try getting close to me. Chin Wu. Sir. How many bird shops in town? There's only one. One bird shop. Very good. Now you go and tell the boss. Anyone buying a bird, he's to give them a special kind. What kind, sir? The lesser gray eagle. Fine, thank you, love. Hey. <laughs> 
one right now is the lesser gray eagle. Hmm. This gray eagle's a lovely bird. I hear you collect all kinds of rare birds. You'll have to teach me about them. Hmm. Lady, I can see you are smart. But do you know why I like collecting these birds? Why is that? I get great pleasure watching them in their cages. Trying to break out. They soon learn they can't. And then they understand that you are their master. You have power of life and death over them. That's right. Men are a bit smarter than birds, aren't they? Hmm. I learn something from these birds. It's a simple point. I must lock up my enemies. Do you agree with me? <laughs> Master! Master, there's a stranger who wants to see you. He uh -huh. said he's brought you a bird as a present. Uh -huh. Send him in. Sir. I hope this visitor is thoughtful too and has brought me a gray eagle. Then I will have a pair. <laughs> This is our master. Ah, so you are Mr. Chan. Well, you do amaze me. A mute who likes collecting birds. It takes a lot of patience. Oh. To care for a precious bird like a gray eagle. <laughs> Mr. Chan, let me introduce you to my guest. This lady is Miss Chu. She is also a collector of birds. <laughs> Mr. Chan, you're a mute. What a surprise. And you like birds too. I wonder, how do you talk to your birds? With hand signals, I suppose. Or do you write them little messages? <laughs> I know you've both come a long way. I must show you my collection. I have a splendid aviary full of the most rare exotic species. Please. Last I found you. I've been looking everywhere. Why look for me? I don't want any of your coffins. Oh, I know you don't need any coffins, but I'm sure Miss Tong and Mr. Hong Do, uh, they always seem to need a coffin from me. What do you mean by that? Uh, I followed Miss Tong as far as here, and then I saw her meet Mr. Hung. They both went to Tin Lung Valley. I think they might be in trouble. How do you know that they might be in trouble? Miss Tong asked me to send a coffin to Tin Lung Valley this evening, but she still hasn't come out here to collect it. If ever I deduce, she's in trouble. Uh, why should you be worried about her? Uh, well, Miss, if she is my best customer. I'm anxious about her safety. Uh, hmm? <laughs> uh, uh, lady! Uh, uh, lady, where are you going to now? To Tin Lung Valley to rescue them. Uh, you can't go there by yourself. Wait, I have an idea. You have an idea? What is your plan? Uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's unfair! It's unfair! Oh, they're beating me! Hey, everybody, come over here and listen to me. They bought these coffins from me, but they didn't pay. What? What's more, they're trying to beat me up. You'll be my witnesses. How can such things be allowed to happen? They cheated me, and they yes, beat me. Yes, nonsense! Uh, we have no corpses inside here. We want no coffins. <laughs> 
Now, get up. Uh, uh, wait, gentlemen. Please listen to me. Uh, you must take it now. Once a coffin is sold, it's impossible to take it back. Won't you let me go inside and inquire if there's anyone dead? I told you before, there's no one here who's kicked the bucket. Get out! Uh, uh, it's hey, unfair! Right? Oh. It's unfair! Hey, they're hurting me! They haven't paid me for them. They've not paid their bill. They're no better than thieves, like animals. How could they do this to me? Won't anyone listen to me? I've been robbed. They haven't paid. Uh, uh, they haven't Paid. Help me, someone! Someone help me! Uh, 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 help me! Hold help me! What's the matter? It's late. Master, this guy is selling coffins. He claims that we've a corpse inside. He wants to take his coffins in. Uh, uh, mister, it wasn't me who wants to bring the coffins in. I was told to bring them here. It wasn't my idea. Who told you to bring them? We don't need coffins. Uh, a lady, a very beautiful lady. Yourself. She's staying here at Windley Inn. Mm. What do you say? Is that true? It's all true. Why should I lie to a man like you? I swear it. May God strike me dead if I'm not telling you the absolute truth. I'm telling you. All right. Get out of here. Yeah. Hey, 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 mister. You look like a decent man. I would like to be a friend of yours. Hey, 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 mister. If there's anything that you ever want me to do, don't hesitate to ask me. I'll even give you a special discount on one of my coffins. Hey, take your pick. Hmm? That's enough. Uh, 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 Let's go in. Sir. sir. Be careful. Sir. Uh, hey, listen to me. My name is Chin Sum Chi. I've been in the coffin business for many years now. If there's anything I can do for you, I'll do my best to help you. Hey, 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 hey come back here. Hey. Hong Yi, hey, do you really dislike talking? Are you a real mute? <laughs> it's my guess that you must be a mute, because otherwise you'd be bound to make some sound. Hey, you! <laughs> Why'd you rescue us? Hmm. Don't think it's because I like you. But I like this Malfei fellow less. It was easy. Hey, Young Hing. You know, really, you aren't a bad person. It's just that you've an annoying look. If we're comparing looks, I don't like yours either. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Nobody can ever escape from me and live. Hey, you're the one who's not going to get away. Malfei, you should know by now. If I want to catch someone, then they'll never get away. Ah! 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 Ah!
is waiting outside. All right. trusted that silent guy. Then why rescue him? Are you... All right. Relax now. We have to find him quickly. Otherwise, the shining pearls will all be his, and that will never do. Ah! Ah! Ungi, you're not a man. Huh. Why not save your strength? Do what you want to me. You'll never find the shining pearls. I don't care. I'm not afraid. You... Easy! Hmm. Hong Yi, you really are stupid. You still haven't opened your mouth to talk. I'm telling you, he is a real mute. Mm hmm. All right, if you don't want to talk, then I'll ask him for you. I know that he's your prisoner. Who are you? <laughs> Malfei, I know that you're a very brave man. But I'm warning you, if you don't tell us where to find the shining pearls, I'll use my knife on you and cut you up. If you want me to, keep your mouth shut, just like Hong Yi. Hey, Yong Heng, tell me, perhaps I should cut off his nose to start, or should I cut off his ears first? His nose is much too fat. I think you better start with the ears. Mm, all right. Then I'll cut off his ears first. <coughs> Tong Lan, are you a human being? Hmm? Don't I look like one? Of course I am. It's just I don't like you. And I like having power over people like birds in cages. Sorry, I'm going to cut your ears off. Someone help! Hey, isn't that the beggar? Someone help! Quick, we'll split up. Hold it. Every time we go out, our prisoner's killed. You're right. Malfei! Oh, come on. Ah! Oh, my God! It's you! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> hmm. What a surprise. I didn't expect to find you here. You had better tell us the truth. Who are you really? I am the gang's executioner. Tong Lam, you came back here too quickly. Our gang, first master, Star Tiger. Why should he want to kill you? He killed me to stop me talking. He killed the others too to steal the pearls. And now he has the ball. Why do you go to so much trouble? The, the chief master was forced by the others to disband the gang. They all split up, each taking a different road. Uh, uh, 
Therefore, he had to use you to find out where they all were. And once he'd found that out, he moved, killed them, and took their pearls. Where's the chief master now? He's in, in the hills, in, in, in a wooden hut. were a good actor. Chief Master. <laughs> Chief Master, everything has worked out just as you planned. I have tricked them into going up into the hills. Well, and that's where they're gonna be buried. Uh, and when they are dead, Chief Master, you don't have to worry anymore. Uh, <laughs> that's right. I'll kill everyone. <laughs> Good as people say you are. You're an expert fighter. And you're the villain of the piece, Star Tiger. That's right. And now I have come to kill you. Star Tiger, I have to admit it. You sure had us fooled there. You used the three of us to track down your brothers, and then you knocked them off one by one and stole their pearls till you had all. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone and just as I planned. The three of them forced me to share. But I had no intention of letting them keep the pearls, so I let the gang be disbanded. Then you three came along. It gave me an excellent chance to kill them all. Now all I have to do is finish off the job by killing you and the pearls are mine. You're going to spend the rest of your life in jail. T. Young Hing, you better not be too bold or you'll get more than you bargained for. Star Tiger, I am going to get you and I'm going to bring you in, too. You're deluding yourself, lady. In fact, I will kill you. Ha! 
Hey, these five shining pearls belong to me. Hmm. Why is that? I'll take them to the prince on behalf of my uncle. No, the shining pearls belong to me. What was that, you hear something? Yes, I heard someone talk. He started to speak. Really? It has to be him. <laughs> of course it's me. You know I'm not a mutant. I don't like talking. Hey, why do you want to talk now? What's so important? <laughs> I used up all my little messages. And if I didn't talk, what could I do? I had to tell you, the shining pearls are a gift from my prince to the emperor. I must take them back to him. All right. I guess we're all going the same way. Let's go together. <laughs> <laughs> you first. No, you first. You first. Hey, ladies first. Uh -huh. 